Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is The Reckonist. Welcome to Football Manager 2024. And the Fiorentina save, which we began on Twitch, has been forwarded approximately a month-ish, just over, to October the 1st. As I said on the Twitch stream, that I can't commit to a streaming schedule, but I can totally play offline whenever I can and, you know, get a month or so in and then do an update. And then, you know, when the next available time for a stream is, or if it's important, like a transfer window or something like that, I'll stream it. Uh, but in between, I think I can do a good sort of vlogging process of what decisions were made and um, how I'm feeling right now. So, uh, as you can see, played 6, won 5, drew 1, top of the league, 16 points. Annoyed, the draw is against Verona, who are at the bottom, and half of their points came from that draw with us, but it was after a European game, so we didn't have much prep. It's basically a European hangover type thing. Um, didn't play well the day after, but joint top scorers with 14 and joint least against with four. Um, so we're doing pretty well. Um, the club loved that I signed De Gea with the financial aspect. Well, he's free and he's pretty cheap. Uh, but again, I've done some notes. Um, since the last save or since the last stream, sorry, I've identified our best players, I think. Uh, I discovered other players where I didn't realize were quite as good as they actually were, where I barely even, I don't even think, I'm, I mustn't have clicked on a couple of them. Um, but David De Gea is probably, right now he's definitely our best player um, in terms of form, because played six, he's conceded four, he's got two clean sheets and two man of the matches in Serie A, but in Europe he's played three, three clean sheets and a man of the match. So he's got three man of the matches out of nine games. Um, I think you consider that quite good. He's definitely rescued us a lot. Um, and yeah, uh, I think he's going to be... Uh, he, he's not a sweeper keeper. He's not. He shouldn't be performing as well as he is. However, the fact that he's saving so many shots, because that's what he is. He is a shot stopper. His reflexes are through the roof still. Um, yeah, it's uh, opposite of what I would... He's not the goalkeeper we want, but he's the goalkeeper we need right now. I think that's the best way of putting it. Um, but yeah, 36 grand a week for David De, David De Gea on a free. That's, that's like a no-brainer. No um, Bonaventura, Gonzalez, Milenkovic, and Arthur uh, are considered our best players, I think. A um, little bit annoyed at Arthur's like natural fitness, but he's good. Um, the worst player we have was Gino Infantino, because he was basically surplus. He's not that he's a terrible footballer. He's not as good as the center midfielders we've got. So he's gone back out onto loan. Uh, wait, did they sign him this season? They got him off Par. Oh no, they got him off Rosario Central. Okay, well he's at Parma Serie B. It's probably about his level right now. Anyway, um, future prospects. Now I did talk a bit about uh, Kyoda. Oh, we can ignore this um, current team selection. It's not representative. Uh, Kyoda. I found a picture of him. There he is. Um, and yeah, he's definitely going to be around for a while. He kicked off, actually. He was like, hey, I'm better than my contract. So I'd had to offer him a new one because he was the only fit right back at the time. Uh, definitely one for the future. I've got him uh, working on what is him gets forward whenever possible to help the skulls can't tackle uh, tactics much, uh, much more. Um, who else do we have? Parisi. This guy sneaked under as well. I didn't quite realize how good he was. Um, Fabiano Parisi. I think he must have been injured because I didn't... I don't remember clicking on him at all and uh, thinking um, that, you know, we're, he, he's a young prospect. He's 22. I didn't think he'd be this good at 22. Um, but there he is. He's definitely going to be playing more. He's come back from his injury. He's only had one Serie A appearance and one in Europe but definitely good. And do I have him developing something? Gets forward whenever possible because that's all the system needs for wide players. Um, what else have we got? Beltran, right. Um, I was pretty underwhelmed by the striking options. I thought he, this guy, would be our number one. And I thought, well, you know, 13s and 14s all over the board. I mean, he's pretty good. I mean, and then I looked, he's 22, and they spent quite a bit of Fiorentina money on it. 21.5 million pound purchase. Totally was not aware of that at the time. Um, but then uh, I thought, well, maybe there's something else I missed because we were focusing on getting Gonzalez as a striker because of his aerials. Um, we didn't do that. Uh, that but because Inzola, um, yeah, from Spezia, 
played 31 for Spezia and got 13 last year, and they paid 10.5 million. That's, like, really cheap. He's played... How many has he played for us now? Sorry. Played six, scored three in Serie A. Europe, uh, no goals, one assist. Um, yeah, he's been... He's definitely... I, I missed him. I don't know how that happened, but we did. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be the main striker while Beltran gets his um, feet settled in Italy. Also, Gonzalez might end up being a striker at some point. Not now. Um, definitely not for us, but he's definitely a prospect. It's kind of like, you know, with uh, SMS, you can turn him into a target man, Milinkovic-Savic. Um, I'm thinking something similar for him. Uh, who the hell is John Schaller? I did not buy him. Oh, director of football has bought him. All right. Well, there he is. That guy's there. Um, he wasn't on my list. Ikone starts off the season injured and has come flying into the first team. Uh, played one in the league and scored it. He only had like 20 minutes of the game. And who he is. But in Europe, he's played twice as a sub. One goal, one man of the match. Not bad at all. Ikone will be the right wing competition for Gonzalez. Uh, Jesse Lingard. We, <laughs> I, I, I got him. I got Jesse Lingard. He's free, he did all right, and there's no particular issues with him. He's on a very small wage. I think he's got a one-year contract and there was an extension after X games. 15 games. Um, yeah, you know, even if he's 31, he'll be 32. He's fine, he's fine have around. He's a big match player, so um, definitely a useful one to have around. Uh, so Till is getting better very quickly. I wasn't Gonna put him as the starting, but he seems to be doing well. Played nine, scored three, three assists with a 7.23 average rating in Serie A. One man of the match. Europe uh, played two, one as a sub. Oh, sorry, played, started two, one sub appearance, one goal. Not didn't turn up again in those European games, but very, very good. Um, he's got a lot better. Bracalo is being a bit of an asshole because um. He is not training very well, and everyone around him is playing great. And pretty soon, I'm going to imagine him getting pissed off about his lack of um, opportunities, and he's like a prime candidate for sale, I think. Um, Castrovilli is out for another year. Bonaventura is 33, turning 34. 33? 34 now, yeah. Um, yeah, best player, center of the park. Pretty much perfect PPMs for an advanced playmaker attack. But his acceleration is 11, now he's 34. So as soon as uh, Castrovile is back, he'll be replacing that. Barak is back. Antoine Barak, who is um, not played yet, actually, I don't think. No, he's just about back. Uh, any other options? Oh, yes. Um, final transfer window. Zeki Shelik became um, a priority because we only had KO Day fit because Dodo is out for about a season at least. So he is on for uh, the season. I think there's an option. Optional future fear, 4.7. Perhaps, maybe something will happen in between with KO Day and can't get rid of him. Oh, sorry, we can't keep him and have to get rid of him. But he's definitely a decent signing for us. And yeah, uh, I think at the end of the last stream, I said I was going to buy Valentin Gomez. Uh, I changed my mind. I went with Vida um, because A, he looks like he's in Skyrim, honestly. <laughs> so is annoyed from Skyrim. Uh, and he's done pretty well. Uh, six appearances, one goal, 7.2 average rating. Not bad at all. Um, he's here for, did you give him a year or two? I gave him two, two years. Okay, so he'll be, yeah, he'll be quite old. His, his, his pace will go, but, he, you know, we needed it at the time, I think. Uh, I think I did undervalue Mora because every kind of, Everyone, every like scout report was coming back saying he has the potential to be better than our current center half, Milinkovic. Uh, um, but also, Lucas Martinez quarter is also fairly decent. But you know, all those players besides Vida have issues aerially. Um, so that's literally the the reason I bought him. Just as a experience and B is good in the air. Um, long term, definitely not one for us. He's for this season only, really. And again, yeah, back up here, David De Gea. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, total overall for the club played nine, conceded four, five clean sheets, three man of the matches, seven point four two average rate in free transfer on less than forty grand a week. He's not 
a sweeper keeper. He is a goalkeeper. Is that there are there is distinctions, of course, but he is probably the best goalkeeper, probably in the la over the last ten years. He's not a sweeper keeper, but if you want someone to stop a shot, there's probably no one there. As it becomes like a, an ethical thing, do you want the prevention? Uh, of shots on target, or do you want the cure for shots on targets? That's the way I look at it. That might make not any sense to anyone, but stopping a shot, absolutely great. And uh, possible future captain role, 14. I'm going to try and keep him as long as I can. We've got three years with him and an extension. I think, op nope, no optional extension. But yeah, David De Gea is there. So, schedule. Let's have a look what happened. Um, I put a lot more friendlies in. Um, I did all of these uh, Austrian friendlies. I thought we didn't have enough match experience, so we just did that. Uh, Monza, 4-1. 3-0 at Pro in the U European qualifier. Um, actually, can I just make that more auto size or cons? Thank you. Um, yeah, Hellas Verona, one all. <laughs> That's so annoying. And nil-nil uh, on the replay for the qualification. 1-0 against Roma. 3-1 against Atalanta. I've written here, Atalanta goal. So I'm going to have a quick look. Oh, I remember this one, right. Let's have a look at the goals. Um, yeah, watch watch goals. Let's watch the goals, and I'll just cut onto the goal I want everyone to see. Ah, okay, here it is. This is my goal. We're 1-0 down at this, po at this point. Uh, we do go on to win 3-1, but uh, Raphael Toloi is playing it around. This It came from an incredible tackle where I literally went, oh my god, what a tackle. There it is. <laughs> Kuame, yeah, he's actually been very good as well. A sort of versatile winger and striker. Um, great squaddy, basically. But look at this little spray out. Selic, that's his debut, I think. Um, and then Nico. I'm going to count that as staying in possession and not getting tackled because the rest of the goal's wonderful. Look at this. Spread it out. There you go. We're going to start from there. Riagi. Underlap from Bonaventura, back, we're going to spray it along, Vida, into the box, Arthur, and then posting in, what a strike that is, best goal we've scored this season so far, inspired stuff, a lovely finish, and his first goal as well. And from there, we've just gone on 1-0 win away at Fenerbahce with Jonathan Iconi coming off the bench like two minutes before scoring, which was great. Uh, and no European hangover, straight into a win at Lecce. And then we've just demolished, and I mean demolished, Lazio, who don't seem to be performing particularly well. Uh, and as you said, as I said at the start, I think, uh, first is a little bit misleading because we've not played what I would consider title rivals yet. Roma, perhaps, Atlanta on their day. Lazio are not playing well. They're something like, where are they in the league now? They're like 13th. Yeah, so they've had a bit of a crapper. But we've not played Juventus, we've not played any of the Milans, uh, Napoli, nothing like that yet. Uh, but next match is away against Juve, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, but I think um, that's pretty much all I can need to cover there. Oh yeah, a couple of things to have stressed me out. Um, the director of football decided to give Aramba a five-year contract, um, which would probably include like a lot of signing on fees. Uh, oh no, loyalty bonus is 2.7. So if United do come in for him on their 17 million pound offer uh, option, um, he won't get full pay. So he's probably not going to be enthusiastic about going there. I don't know. We'll see. What else do we got? I sold Alfred Duncan to Atalanta. Um, and then, you know, that happened 4.3 million. Where is it? Oh, history. What am I looking at? There we go. History. What else do we have? Uh, Coyote complained about a new contract. I gave it to him. Um, Shellick signed. Didn't realize Nzola was very good. <laughs> That's what it says there. Uh, also, I've put Lunin on my potential um, yeah, end of contract things. The goalkeeper, the Ukrainian goalkeeper, because he's a free transfer at the end of the season. I gladly have him. And that's pretty much it. So yeah. Um, if you like this idea of me just sort of playing and doing smaller videos, uh, updating you in the month, let me know. Um, I'd like to like to know what your thoughts are on it. So give it a like and thumbs up. Uh, Skulls Can't Tackle Itself did get an, uh, a little bit of uh, an addition. I moved uh, wingback support to sit more narrower, uh, just so you can have a little bit more emphasis on the possession. But I also brought the inverted wing on the right side inside to try and help this complete wing back overlap. It seems to be going very well. Uh, only one major error in possession trying to play through the press came from um, Milinkovic. He got caught on the ball. 
and resulted in the goal. Other than that, the, the system's going very, very well. Have we got data stuff now? We definitely do. Oh, yeah. Um, can I see the data? Because this popped up. Um, wait, no. Yeah, player performance. Uh, Baragi, look at his creativity for defenders compared to the rest of Serie A. Um, I think moving him in inside City more narrow has helped quite a bit with his key passes and interceptions, possibly with the assists as well. I don't know. But uh, Briagi, absolutely brilliant um, in this way. So I'm going to keep it this way for now. I am obviously tempted to do inverted wingbacks because that's what I like to do. But we will watch carefully and see what we can do comparatively. Uh, let's do team analyst report and see what we've got here. Wait, can we do... Yeah, okay. Goal scored. Uh, all competitions, including friendlies. Let's move that to domestic league and see what we've got. All the league matches... Uh, five goals in all from these areas. Um, we're scoring yeah, pretty much consistently. No particular time of day or time of day, time of match that we're doing it. Uh, goals conceded. Um, no pattern there. Oh, one, 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 one. Nothing, no particular weakness at all. Assists. Goals conceded. Assists came from central areas. Nothing on our right. Um, but goals scored. Assists, assists there. Goals against. All right, assist positions. Three, three, three. Not many on the right, which is very interesting to me. It might be something we need to balance out. But, you know, it's only early in the, in the season, usually around, you know, December, you'll start seeing patterns that are worth actioning on. Uh, but, yeah, we're doing very, very well. Um, Skulls can't tackle's doing very strong. I think we're expected to finish, was it eighth or something? Yep, media prediction is eighth. And we're first. And if we finish top four, I'll be delighted. Any higher? Perhaps. We will see. I think when um, we get into the nitty-gritty of the seasons where, you know, it's Europe and Serie A intensely, um, we might have issues. But we're doing really well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far... Uh, oh, also, I will put on uh, Skulls Can't Tackle's developments onto Patreon um, if anyone wants to support the stream and uh, obviously get hold of what I'm dealing with at that moment and try it yourself and get some feedback. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. See you next time. Take care.